go. There we go. What the heck, man? And I know a lot of... <laughs> I, I, it's, it had to do with the phone. My phone was, uh, synced up the wrong way and it was really messed up. I, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, a lot of people were saying, just, just go live from JCS. You got super chats over there, but I just want to remind everybody that I'm going to be live tonight at 11 PM on Joe Cronin show for out of nowhere. If you guys are su subbed over there. What's up, Jimmy Daps? I'm going to be right back. I'm just grab my drink. Get everybody in here. Grab my drink. See what's going on. Jimmy Daps. What up? Yeah, I was I was finally I finally got done with everything I was doing outside, so I'm finally able to go live. It's I've been waiting all day to do something. I just recorded a podcast earlier that I uploaded, so that's up for you. Broccoli. You got broccoli in there. I'll be up in a minute to make something. I'm back. I'm coming. Here I come. Here I come. What's up? What's up, everybody? Um. So I, I got I got the podcast done. That's up right now on uh, Patreon. I did some weird shit in that podcast, so I hope you guys can deal with it. Um, I don't know. I was kind of whacked out. Uh, Jimmy Daps, what's going on? It's amazing. Um, I didn't want to go live on Joe Cronin's show because I didn't want to blow the alert for out of nowhere tonight. And then accidentally went over here, and then this happened. So now we're live on the channel I wanted to be live on. My bad. And uh, here we are. I'm installing all these foam panels up in the ceiling and all this stuff. It's, only, it's not going to help that much, but it'll help a little bit, and it was cheap. Uh, I got these at a discount bulk order. So, like, for, like, uh, $29, I got, like, 50 of these. But normally, like, 15 is, like, 30 bucks. So, not bad, but it's not the stuff. I'm doubling up on them and putting them in the ceiling. I don't know. It sounds crackling, somebody says. Sounds crackling. Hmm. Let's see if we can figure that out. Sound is crackling. Let's see. Audio. Record stereo audio. Bluetooth audio is off. Audio source. Camcorder. Default microphone. Microphone. I don't know, man. What about what about that? Do I sound better now? I just I just changed I changed the mic, man. Let me know if that sounds better. I just changed the mic. My audio wasn't saying it was popping, but I don't know. There you go. Man, this cup smells like pussy. This cup smells like pussy, dude. What the fuck? All the phone streams always do the crackling sound. Really? What the hell's up with that? Why is it doing that? It didn't used to do the crackling. Why is it doing the... I don't know. Let me know how it is now. I, cha I changed the audio. You need a cup like that that smells like pussy. What up, everybody? Um, yeah, so I know that a lot of people are like, dude, just do the stream over on JCS. You'll get super chats. Well, whatever. You know, it's not... I didn't want to waste the JCS thing, but then I should have just stayed live over there anyway since I fucked up. So, whatever. But, um, it's likely my phone mic. Yeah, my mic's, maybe my mic's busted. But none of my videos come out crackling. None of my videos crackle. So, I don't know. Like, let me flick it. Boom, I flipped it. None of my phone... None of my videos crackle, so I don't know what, what the hell is going on with that. But this happened the last time I streamed, too. People were saying it's crackling. Uh, Streamlabs, Twitch alerts, donations do work. So if you want to donate, yes, they do work. But Super Chats don't work since I'm banned from uh, monetization on this channel. I'm banned from monetization on this channel, so, you know, good luck to all of us. Um, I don't know, man. I got the sample rate on where it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know what try that don't work. What about that? Did that fix anything? Try that. Let me know how that sounds. You bunch of crazy bastards. 
Let me know if it got better. Hopefully it got better. I don't know. Give your phone a stunner. No, I mean, I mean, we were monetized for years on this channel, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to be watching the Bruins game. I'm going to be following that. Um, you know, I love Google. I love Google. I love China. I love Google. I love China. Just had to say that. Get it out there. Get the mixer. Yeah. Is there something wrong still? I mean, it is what it is for now, you know. There's nothing I can do about it now. So, you know, it is what it is for now. But uh, I'm not going to be streaming long. I'm only streaming in a few minutes. I only wanted to come on here for a few minutes, just hang out for a few. Uh, talk about Out of Nowhere is going to be live tonight at 11 p.m. Um, half Chinese, half German. That's kind of cool. Bro, you lose weight? Uh, yeah, I did lose weight, yeah. I've been lose, losing weight. Um, you want me to do the Alex Jones voice? My voice is all messed up as it is. Why? The government is going to do this to everybody. And then when they're picking apart your private parts and they're eating you like zombies in the back and they'll broadcast it all over CNN. Oh. But no, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. Not a lot. Not even lost a lot of weight. I was two... I was 220, uh, what was I, 225? Yeah, I was 225. I was 225, and now I'm 209. I'm 209 right now, so I need another 20, probably another 25 pounds. Another 25 pounds, my face will start to thin out to where I'll, I won't look as creepy uh, with a shaved face. So I'm hoping to get that bone structure look back, you know, get that going. Um... And then uh, just lose a little bit more weight. And then after that, I'll start doing a lot of push-ups and stuff like that. Um, got the Bruins game going, watching hockey. Um, you look like my weed dealer. Uh, that's I do look like that. You know what I used to always get was that, that I was high. People would constantly come up to me and they'd be like, dude, where do you get your weed? I want some weed or whatever. Or they, hey, you got anything on you or whatever? And I'd be like, what? No, I don't even smoke. What the hell are you talking about? And, and like it got so common. That I would start saying to people, I'd be like, do I look like I smoke weed? And they're like, yeah. You look like you're fucking high. And I'd be like, oh. Like, I remember I was delivering auto parts. It was 2004. I was delivering auto parts in my Chevy Cavalier. And I got out of the thing. I delivered the parts. And as I was coming out, a guy was like, hey, man, uh, listen. I got like 50 bucks. Um, if you got any, you selling anything? You selling anything or whatever? And I was like, like drugs? And he was like, well, you know, like some, some green or whatever. I'm like, some weed. And uh, I sound like a cop now. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, nah, dude, I don't even, what? I don't smoke. Why would you, do I look like I smoke weed? He goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, damn. I was like, no, I don't, it's cool. I just don't really smoke that much. And he was like, oh, all right. Sorry. I was like, sorry, man. I mean, I wish I had some now maybe, but. Yeah, it was just funny. So I got that a lot that I looked like like I was high or like like uh, like that zombie look, you know. Uh, what up, Peter? Peter Griffin. Hey, Lois, eat my balls. Yeah, the uh, super chats don't work, Carl. Or you get timed out. Or you didn't get timed out, but Google timed you out. But I see your comment. I think it's because you said pussy bag. Yeah, YouTube is a pussy bag. Yeah, no, it's because um, Super Chats don't work. We're demonetized on this channel. The only way to donate is use Streamlabs down below in the description box. Streamlabs, Twitch Alerts, all the donation amounts work. They they should pop off. I don't know. Somebody can test that out if you want, but I, I don't know. But Super Chat for sure uh, doesn't work because we are demonetized on this channel. No ads, no uh, Super Chats, none of that stuff. So that would be how you do it. Drew Bar, what up, Drew Bar 100? Um, but I definitely recommend uh, you guys listen to the podcast. I just put up on Patreon some juicy, wet stuff in that one. It's only about 25, 30 minutes long, uh, but I just put it up on Patreon. It's, uh, it's I put it under a note-to-self episode, but I actually recorded with my microphone. Um, starts off a little somber at the beginning, and then I start, I start like, the coffee starts kicking in, and I start losing my mind like an asshole. Uh, Shout-out to Billy, Jay, and... Uh, Dan and Cora, who bought JCS and Turkey Club masks. Thank you guys for that. Finn is okay. People have been asking. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Finn is all right. Uh, his bump that was on his head has gone down, so that's good. And he didn't have any nausea or any weird problems. So we were really observing him for a while. 
Um, and he he's he's fine right now that we know, so he seems fine. Okay. Um, so that's good. Ryback showing support for Rusev, interviewing him. Yeah, Ryback is a fake person, but whatever. You know, he comes across. He's just a fake guy, you know. Oh yeah, I love the positivity, uh, except the one I want to bash people. Uh, it's like an okay. It's a fake guy. You know, I don't know where it's coming up at 11 p.m. Eastern time on Joe Cronin's show. Yes, that channel is monetized, so everything will work over there. Bring back the wheel on Sunday. <laughs> I wish I could give you a fresh chicken cordon bleu sandwich. Oh, oh my God, Robo Notes. Oh my God, dude. You just made me so hungry, dude. You just made me so incredibly hungry. I'm going to eat my neighbors. I'm going to chain them up and drop a noose on their neck. And I'm going to eat my goddamn neighbors. Um, no, ro uh, Robo. Rob. Robo. Dude, thank you for dropping uh, 10 friggin' dollars on my stupid Q&A stream. Where I'm just sitting here like a jack off, and then you drop ten dollars. Thank you for that, man. You're funding the uh, this episode, I guess. I'm not gonna be live long, so if you guys wanna do talk about anything, now is the time to hit me up with it as quickly as possible, because I'm only gonna be live for 10, 20 minutes. So I don't even know. Uh, Robo notes, man. Thank you, dude. I know you're a long time guy. Uh, Clam baked is here. What up, Clam baked? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this. It's going to happen all across the whole wall. This is happening on the whole wall. I, uh, I urethane the floor or whatever. Um, I'm putting up side uh, panels, and then molding is coming. And I'm going to do the molding last, or, or maybe first. I don't know. I think I'm going to do it last because I'm going to put the carpet down below it, I think, and pinch it in after I silicone the corner because uh, I'm going to try to keep out bugs because bugs are just always crawling in here. Beetles get in the house and everything. And I got a guy spraying around the house soon. He says it will last like three to six months, whatever, uh, probably give us cancer. Um, but, but I also got a carpenter who's going to seal the bottom of the house up because it's so open, man. Bugs just crawl underneath and crawl right over and around and in. It's stupid. Uh, then the carpenter's fixing that other thing that he didn't fix with the big leak and everything. All of this is being paid for by our grandparents. I'm not rich. Don't worry. People going like, how do you have all the money to do all this? I don't. It's our, our grandparents offered money and they're like, they just want to, I don't know, man. We got some crazy family members that, that have helped. Everybody's helped us, man. Everybody's helped me and, and, and us. Um, so, I mean, since 2012, being on YouTube with this show, whether it was back when I was part-time doing this or when it turned into full-time doing this, um, you guys have been insane. So, thank you. And then we've had just been lucky enough to have the best listeners, friends, uh, people that have been on the shows, everything that's gone on in the last three years. So uh, really cool. What up, Ed's View? Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Um, Rondo Slice, what do you – by the way, guys, if you're watching out of nowhere tonight, we're going to try to take calls, especially towards the end. So I hope you guys are ready to call in tonight and get you on with me and Jake. No, not off wish. Not off wish. Uh, you have a great family, Joe. Shout out to the... Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate that. What up? Are we still good? Give me a thumbs up. We, st we, sh we should still be streaming. But Jimmy Havoc removed from AEW page. Oh, my God, dude. I feel like it's been a shit show with him from the beginning. I feel like they tried to cover it up. Um... I got too much ADD. I'm reading everything, man. Um, I got some stuff, uh, GMT Entertainment. I got some links for you on, on, on Amazon. If you use my links, you can get all the same stuff as me. I'll actually show you. Once the room is all set up and everything is, is put into place and everything like that, I'll do like a little tour and I'll show all the products I use on the, on the whole room or whatever. And I will then also... Um, I'll link you to Amazon. So if you guys buy them, I get credit and you guys can buy them and all that shit. Maybe I'll make a couple dollars. Um, and I'll DM you the link on Twitter. Yeah, GMTA. Just hit me up with a tweet. Be like, hey, man, what's up? Want that link or whatever. And I'll send you the link. Um, going for the white look. Sounds cool. 
Um, yeah, I want to do the, um, I think I'm going to do the white background look. That way I can light it easier, you know, like the way I used to. Because I can really light the bricks pretty nicely, you know. Now I can go under here and I can, you know, drop some uh, different lighting, you know, this way and that way. So I think that it's going to be better that way. I don't know, it's not really showing up right now, but, you know, we, we hit it with some blue right here. And I think we can get some uh, good lighting. This is kind of the lighting I used to use. This is the same lighting I used to use. The, just the difference is the soundproofing on the wall was black and blue. But it did light it up nice. So, you know, I, I haven't decided yet how, how I want to do this exactly. But, you know, without this, we're just getting a pink light that's coming off. And with this, we're getting the blues. And, uh, I don't know, we're going to really... Uh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to look at all the different possibilities. I might do something like this that's more closer to it. So it actually gives that shine. You know, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things I can do. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready to figure it out. Um, Rondo Slice, man. What up, dude? What is wrong with the Red Sox? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with the Red Sox? Don't even get me started, dude. I'm ready to lose my goddamn mind. Like, I, dude. No, there's some clipping in audio. It's on my end, Tony. It ain't you, dude. It ain't you. It's me. It's something to do with this phone, I think. Um, you think Trump is winning again? Yeah. The white bricks look good. Yeah, they're going to look good. I'm going to fill them all. There's going to be more white bricks. Then I'm going to even maybe be hanging some pictures and things like that or whatever to make it kind of look like that. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to be doing it. There's going to be a ton of stuff that goes on. I'm also going to have a tarp uh, that's going to be able to be laid down on the carpet. So if uh, I decide to like pour drinks all over the place or bash glasses all over the place... I have a tarp that's going to be able to be pulled out um, and actually go below the floor. And this sounds crazy, but, you know, and that way if I go nuts, the tarp will get soaked and destroyed. Or not destroyed, but it will get soaked. And, like, I could necessarily, I could, I can then pull the tarp right over, carry the tarp outside, throw it outside, clean it, and then put it back in, install it back in again. Um, all simple stuff. Nothing expensive, nothing automatic or anything crazy like that. I don't have any money for that now. But um, just stu stupid stuff, you know, so I can kind of flip out and uh, be, be crazy and not have to worry about it. So, yeah, you guys are hearing it here. The people on the Joe Cronin Show channel won't even hear about it probably. So you guys won't be surprised when the crazy happens. But uh, everybody else will be. They'll be like, oh, my God, he's a stupid idiot. What's he doing? Um, what up, Callum Keith? How you doing, dude? Yeah, time to lay the tarps. I wonder if I turn the pink light off, what happens? Or maybe I can turn the other light off. I don't know, we'll find out. Let me go find out what happens. Um, it's very blue. I feel like it's just, it, it just needs to be bluer. Um... This, I'm ex I have, I'm kind of experimenting with the way the lights are gonna go and everything. I don't know yet. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I heard. Uh... It's all about the tarps, baby. It's all about the tarps and how you lay them to make their shows better. Or what? It, I don't. Know, um... It doesn't matter where they travel. They just need to write. They need to do all the same things. They need to write better for everything. It's, it's not going to matter what they, you know, what they do if they don't do anything better. If I let me turn the lights up now. Now I turn the lights up and we get a much uh, brighter deal. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about. There's so much wrestling news. I'm going to save it for out of nowhere tonight. Um, pretty much. There's just so much to talk about. Um, put some plastic underneath. Yeah, Marvin. What? What's up, Marvin? Yeah, I'm going to be putting some plastic under it, I think. Um, the, the old carpet that was in here, the removable carpet that was in here, uh, we, it, had, it had actually the, the, the pad that you would have underneath a carpet normally in the house, a regular carpet that you would have. It had the pad under it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, I've always had, I've had lights that change colors for years, Tony. Um, if you go back and watch my videos from 2017, 18, and 16, um, I've had all kinds of lights that I've had light strips on the corners here and so not in here cause I, I didn't live here then, but my old, my old house, the old set, if you want to call it that, 
Uh, we had lights all over the thing. So, yeah, I know I, I've had a lot of cool stuff over the years, but um, just something. You get back to having a nice, nicer setup, try to get people out here. And I think I can get some people out here to be on the podcast in the future. Not right now with COVID, obviously, but um, because, um, you know, we're close to New York. You know, I'm not that far from New York here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's way better though. My old set, my old place, a lot of people bring that up that it looked really good at times. They could, you know, but it was just a little corner in the middle of a living room where the whole family was. So I looked ridiculous. So having this house now, finally, like we've been saving for so many years, I know there's a lot of new listeners, but a lot of the, uh, people back then it was saving up for years to get that, uh, that spot. Um, thank you, man. Uh, Robo know it's for the ten dollar uh, donation, man. Thank you, dude. We recommend you use audio stream bitrate. Like it's telling me the audio sucks. That's so funny. It's just like dying on the audio. Kobe talks about wrestling. What's up, Kobe? You can make the area insane. Yeah, it's going to be my own little man cave. It's only a small room, but it's 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 a 10 by... Uh, this room is uh, about 10 by 10, this room. So this is 10 by 10, and the rest of the basement is, you know, what the rest of the basement is. And we're going to be working on that, too, man. It's a, it's so, it's, it's a crazy process to do everything. But it's fun. Super fun to be able to do it. But I get distracted sometimes between working on YouTube or working on the rooms and the house and the outdoors there's so many things outside that need to be fixed so many things in the house need to be fixed um and then my kids and stuff and then doing this so it's i I get i have add so that's that's the problem with that but in reality it's a great it's great because i have all these different things that i can be working on i don't know um in my part-time job i lost i I lost the part-time job because of covid so we're not gonna i'm not gonna be going back to that it looks like so i'll just be here um you know, with this, the bombing raid crew seems to be a dying stable. I decided to be a lone wolf. What up, bright guy? Yeah, maybe that's true. Get a fog machine? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I'm always worried, man, that stuff is going to slow down and that things aren't going to go as well and I'm afraid to buy things. So that's why it takes me a while to buy something new or do something to the show because I'm always paranoid that, like, something was going to go wrong. Like, like the people suing Patreon. Imagine Owen Benjamin and them, they win. The, they won the lawsuit thing. What does that mean for Patreon? So what if Patreon disappeared, like, in two months? You know what I mean? Well, uh, what the hell would I do? You know, I'm already being shadow banned everywhere. You know, everybody else's stuff is, and I'm seeing everything else, and my stuff was shadow banned. Not all the time, but sometimes. It's crazy. But maybe a fog machine, but that's a little... I mean, you always got to fill it. It's always got to go off and... I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I will. There's another guy I know on YouTube that has one. Actually, he's not on YouTube. He's on Twitch, but he has one too. It's kind of weird. My throat's all dry right here in one spot right here. It's been bugging the hell out of me. I keep doing this. I think it's some post nasal drip because I got allergies again. stupid allergies i talked a lot about a lot of this stuff on the podcast up on patreon right now so if you wanted to hear that uh go up there and check that out uh it's on patreon.com uh, slash joe cronin show it's a uh, note to self it's about 30 minutes long okay so either the chat stopped moving or i'm stupid um yeah, it doesn't make any sense, dude. It's some, it's some kind of weird thing. I'm looking into it with YouTube, but it's a pain in the ass. Casey is raw. What's up, dude? Um, just remember that I'll be live at 11 o'clock tonight. So in, in two hours, we're going to be live on Joe Cronin Show, my other channel with uh, the Out of Nowhere uh, Wrestling Podcast with Jake. And um, there's a lot of wrestling news to talk about, but try to stay away from the wrestling talk right now, but just because to save it for later. But I'll... I mean, I'll answer anything, I guess. It doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't know. Should I go sideways? Yeah, I'm going to go sideways. I'm going to go side. I'm going to go backwards. Casey is here. What up? Casey Shadow Band? Is that what you're saying? Casey is Shadow Band. Is that what Costanza is saying? 
I'm gonna eat this nail. I'm gonna eat this screw right now. Here it goes. Um, but yeah, I think I got about two more minutes or so or left. Uh, I haven't shadow banned shows in a while. Uh, let me eat it. <sighs> Came out of me already. What's up, Costanza? How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm out camping, watching JCS with a fire. That's sick. Paul, that's sick, dude. I want to be out camping. I should just camp in my backyard, just set a fire up, set the fire, put the tent out there. But you know what? I'd just get eaten by mosquitoes. I'd get eaten by bugs. they just eat the shit out of me. So... A nail came right out of me, dude. It just fell right out of me. It went right down and fell right out. Red Raven Rucker. What's up? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I just kind of wanted to come on and advertise that I put up a podcast on Patreon. And I kind of was a psycho, so you should uh, check that out. And let you know that Out of Nowhere is taking place in two hours on Joe Brown Show, my other channel. Um... Still doing as a Joe? What does that mean? Big Tank, I don't know what that means. This is a pre out of nowhere. Yeah, basically, it's a pre out of nowhere. I, I wanted to do this in the day earlier. I wanted to do this around 3 p.m. or so, but um, I just got overwhelmed with tons of stuff, and so I here I am now. And You know, you finally landed a new job. That was actually kind of quick. Oh, you landed on Drew's mom? Oh, you sick bastard. Who, who hasn't landed on Drew's mom? I mean, to be honest. I'm here on my secondary channel. It's not bad to have 80 people on the secondary channel at 9 o'clock at night. That's not too bad. Drew's mom, you need a wide load sign. Yeah, you need a wide, You probably need a gang green VJJ sign is what you need. I'm guessing it's for the $5 tier because I don't see the new podcast. Oh, yeah. You know what's weird, though, is you should still see the pot, the posts. Even if you're not on the tier, you should still see it. Ed's view. It's in the $5 spot. Yeah, it's a morning madness type of thing. Ed's view, you... Cheap Japanese son of a bitch. That's amazing, man. That um, uh, YouTube is a mess. YouTube sucks right now. It really is. It really is a mess. If you're if you're starting out, it's not that bad because like you're you're ignorant and you have no audience, so like you don't care. Like if you lose, if things don't work right, you're kind of like yeah, whatever. And you can just kind of grow because you don't have an audience that's like everything's weird and messed up. Um, but for me, who it's like vital to, to for things to work the right way, it's been really stressful. There's nothing. There's a thirty percent chance that my video doesn't show up anywhere at all, except for the first five to twenty minutes. It alerts people. It's crazy. I've actually searched for it. I searched for uh, my review the other day. It's gone. It's missing. It's completely missing. So it's been enraging. I don't know. Arknolia Stroke Bean. What up, Arknolia? I sent you a message, buddy. About that. I like your idea. I don't want to simulcast on my channel and his, though, but I'm down for either being on his or just being on Patreon or either one. I don't care which one it is. I'll come on his channel if you want. Um, I mean, the Bruins were looking like they were going to win the cup until the season was delayed by COVID. Now it looks like shit. Did you ever think about having a channel that you don't cuss on? Uh, I mean... I, I have multiple other channels uh, that, that they that things work out on, so, you know, I've got a new channel that I'm going to be launching that has nothing to do with anything, the community that has nothing to do with um, anything, it's just going to be a brand new channel, and I'm not going to tell anybody about it, and it's going to be a whole new thing, and so I got that that I've been working on too, um, is the wheel going to be expensive again, um, I, I don't think so, because I think we had a couple weeks of the wheel being really expensive so i think we're gonna have the wheel this week uh, be more affordable uh, for everybody so i think we're gonna have um doll like uh maybe five dollars to spin the wheel this week and i think we'll have an increase of a three times multiplier earlier like at the 15 dollar mark so yeah we're gonna try to make it a little bit better uh, a little bit cheaper this week because people have been so crazy recently um 
I want I want to be able to get a lot of you guys involved and a lot of people that maybe want to donate a dollar or two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, whatever. But they they're like, oh, there's no spin, so fuck that. So I, I want to get people um, that chance and people, you know, they've been dropping bombs for weeks. Don't have the money to drop bombs again this week. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to lower the wheel this week. Uh, yes, I am still going live later. Angelo, Sierra, what's up, man? I'll be live at 11 with uh, Out of Nowhere on the Joe Cronin Show channel with Jake tonight. So much wrestling news to talk about. We're going to talk about it all. So we are, I am going to be live with that in a little while. So this is just a quick hangout. I, I was supposed to do it today at 3, and I didn't do it. And Paul 3, yeah, meant to offend. I think I, I am going to bring it back. I'm just not sure yet. I'm trying to figure out my focus. I think that what I'm doing is, what I'm, what I'm starting to set up is I have two, two interviews recorded already. And it looks like I'm going to be able to have two or three or four more recorded this week. And I think what I'm going for is a Joe Rogan style uh, podcast that's coming out. So it's going to be me and a guest. Um, we're going to start out weekly. And then I'm going to start releasing probably three episodes a week, hopefully. And it will be me, and, and it's going to be, um, I've got a guy that I interviewed about his book, about uh, relationships and growing up and the things that affect his life. i got another guy who used to be a radio DJ uh, for 20 years. Uh, you might, maybe you'll have known of him, uh, so that will be coming out. Um, I've got another guy who is a musician, got a band. But we're really going to sort of talk about other things and anything uh, that involves them. And then also talk about what they do in their work or job or life or passion or how they feel about current events. And we're going to go into all those things. And it's going to be something where you're going to get to hear me interact with somebody new every week. Um, and so I've lined up all those interviews. And, and that's going to become a podcast. I think it's going to be Joe Cronin Show or Joe Cronin Podcast. I think it's going to be Joe Cronin Podcast, which is weird because Joe Rogan sounds like Joe Cronin, and people confuse me all the time. In fact, I've heard people be like, oh, you just copied Joe Rogan. What do you mean? My name is Joe Cronin. It's What the fuck am I supposed to do? Um, you know, did Bill Burr copy uh, Joe Rogan? It's like, no, because his name doesn't sound like Joe Rogan. Um, and also, I didn't even listen to Joe Rogan until I think 2014 was the first year I, I heard of Joe Rogan's podcast. So that's stupid. I, I was doing podcasts years before that. I didn't even know the guy existed. But Joe Rogan is the king of podcasts. He did basically start this whole thing. Uh, or had, or at least he was very one of the first people successful with it. Um, I did not know that, though, because I didn't even ever listen to his podcast back then. But um, In fact, the first podcast I ever really heard was... Um, I was trying to do internet radio. I was trying to do internet streaming radio, and every time I did it for years, I would just think, like, no one's listening to this. Nobody knows who I am and where to find me. Uh, it was like 2004 and 2003, I'd be streaming onto LiveWire or, or LimeWire or, Li or Wave Win and Win Amp or something like that. I don't know. I used to stream on WinAmp. And, like, I think, like, one time, one time I got an email from somebody, and we looked at the numbers, and from for years we couldn't even tell who could ever hear it and nobody could hear it nobody could find it nobody could hear it nobody knew where to find it. i was just broadcasting to nobody um but then there was a little while when we started um putting out ads for it and it looked like we had maybe 16 viewers at the time and i remember i got one email from a guy who was like what do you think about uh, uh marijuana growing marijuana in your house or something like that and i was like what the fuck and uh, I remember answering that. That was the only email I ever got. Five years of on and off internet stuff, and nobody ever said a damn thing about it. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, uh, Tony, technically that is my name. My middle name is, is Joe. Um, yeah, you're right. So, technically, it does sound like that. You're right. But uh, that's coincidental, too, I think. But, yeah, I would change to Dan if I got enough... Uh, annoyance about it maybe i mean maybe i could uh, be dan because i'm going to be more this is going to be more serious i guess it's going to be like a like we're going to be but i i guess it's going to be sort of like it's going to be like final frontier news meets everything like you know like i sort of want it to be like you know how me and jesse had that four hour podcast recently where me and jesse talked about uh it was after dark and we talked about all these different things uh throughout the podcast oh, that was a really good podcast and, and I think, you know, people like Jesse and, and a couple other people could be on the show when I don't have a guest booked or something like that. 
So, and, and I think it's going to be something that could be pretty good. And um, I'm going to have a, a separate channel for it. And it's going to go up for free on iTunes. And basically, you guys are funding it. You guys who are patrons are funding it. And I'm going to announce that every show. You know, we're going to plug the patrons. Um, we're going to try to plug the $25 producers. And then I'm going to try to plug um, a random, like, like 10 or 20 patrons uh, who no matter what tier you're on uh, once in a while um, so that hopefully everybody gets a mention but I don't know how feasible that's going to be or, or logistically that's going to work there's a there's 330 patrons so right now I shout out about 30 to 20 of the producers depending on how many we have um, but to shout out 300 people I don't know how we're going to move that into the realm of possibility so if not at least i'm gonna roll credits with names so i'm working on that too what's up crazy horse um joe would you eat rice eggs and ketchup i mean I, yeah i'd eat all that stuff all, all by itself or together or with ketchup i don't yeah i, I do all that stuff um i think you, you should stay with shouting out the 25 dollars or more ryan romano yeah i think i think i probably will have to do that ryan it's probably too crazy to shut everybody else out um, so yeah, I probably will have to stick with the $25 producers. It's a lot of money, man. To be a $25 producer, it's, it's a lot of money. It's, it's really is. Uh, Joe, JD doesn't know the schedule of the NFL. Well, he's an asshole, so fuck him anyway. Uh, how's Finn's head? Yeah, Finn's okay. I did talk about it earlier. He's okay. His head's doing better. The lump went down. Um, Brenna was the one who really, like, saved him, man. She, she caught the thing and was holding it, and he was scared because he hit himself, and... She was screaming for me, and I didn't even know they were down here. I had my door closed. I thought they were in bed. They, must, they got by Leah, too, because she didn't even know they were down there either. So she must have, you know, ran to the bathroom or something, and the next thing you know, they ran downstairs somehow. But, um, you know, I mean, that just happens. Um, he was pulling, he was climbing a shelf, and he pulled something down, and as he fell, he fell with it, and then it hit him in the head on his way down. I guess that's it, like essentially what happened. And the thing was laying on him, and Brenna was holding it up in the air, keeping the other stuff from falling on him, because he was just laying below it crying, and stuff was still coming off the shelf, and she was holding it up like goddamn Superwoman or something, Supergirl, um, and screaming for help. So she was really cool. Um, she's a sweetheart. A crazy devil little girl, but she's sweet. Um... If you've seen some of the stuff I post about her, I mean, she's just got full-on ADD. She's whacked out. Uh, Leah, <laughs> Leah was like, I think she needs Ritalin or something. And I'm like, hey, you might be right. I don't know. I hate drugs, though. I don't want to do it. So you just kind of got to deal with it. She's really bad, though. Like, you'll be like, hey, can you stop doing that? And she'll just look away from you and be like, ah, da, da, da. and you're like, hey, stop doing that. And she'll just be crazy. And she'll just won't listen. And she's just wild. I don't know. But she's great. But she's just totally like me but maybe we I don't know man like I think worse <laughs> um, but you know but uh, yeah Finn's okay so we were watching him all night you know we we've been around the block with concussions and heads and kids and me and everybody else so we kind of knew what to look for I was checking his pupils you know he wasn't nauseous he didn't get sweaty or weird he it was very he immediately began to stop crying was like okay where's my phone i want to play the phone we're like all right and you got a bump you know so you got a contusion there uh nothing's really wrong with drugs john uh some people do need them they're helpful but um i just i just like i really push back as much as i can against drugs um you know unless it's like you, you need to have these. Like, this is, there's no other, it's, you're not going to fix it. You know, that's different. Uh, you'd lose appetite. Yeah, see, I don't know, man. But yeah, Mike, but he's okay. Uh, Finn's okay. We had a great day. Me and Brenna washed the car and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. So I think I got about two more minutes left, guys. If anybody wants to ask anything else, I'll try to read and try to get it going. Uh, we did have a donation from uh, Robo Noitz. Thank you, Robbie, for that uh, ten dollar drop, man. Sponsoring the uh, the hour here, I guess. Uh, Tony from Revere says, "Not to be a douche, but 
That could be parenting too, especially when you tell a child not to do something and give them that attention. They sometimes do things just because they trigger you. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely true. Like you need to, um, it's true that if, if your kid's doing something whacked out and you're like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Like it, sometimes that just doesn't work. The better thing to do is to be like, if, if they're doing something you don't want them to be doing, you'd be like, um, hey, I, hey, you know, I told you, don't, don't be doing that. Listen, here's your thing. Go, go grab this or whatever. It's kind of like, um, you, you like trick. It's like a trickery thing. It's like, you're like, if you, and if you say like, Hey, how about you go outside and do this? Like they, they'll be like, no, but you can be like, Oh, I'm, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw something with some chalk. I'm going to go chalk up the driveway. Um, if you want to come with me, I'll be out there and they'll come out. But if you were like, go, go play with your chalk, they'd be like, no. And then you're like fighting with them. Like, so there's ways to do things that, that work instead of being like, no, or just yelling at them all the time. Um, you know, to, instead of being like, go to bed now. And you just keep telling them to go to bed and they won't. And they keep running around for attention. You really got to like pick them up and be like, Hey, want to go read a story? Like, or you want to watch, um, I want to watch an episode of whatever with you. And then you, you sit there for a few minutes and they sit there and then you read a book and you read them the book and then you go, all right, well, you know, we're going to do more tomorrow and stuff like that. And you pat their head or whatever. And maybe they beg for another story. So you read one more maybe, or you get them, you know, something. And then next thing you know, they're in bed and you get them to go to bed and they go to bed. But if you just tell them go to bed and like, you bring them up maybe and you go, okay, I'll jump in bed. And even if you tuck them in, they might get out of bed. But if you really kind of, you have to work at it. Like and if, in the, and if you're a parent that doesn't want to work, at putting the kid to bed, you're going to just get crazy. And then if you're another parent, you might spend an hour and a half trying to get the kid to bed and you're like exhausted and you're like, what am I, what the hell am I doing wrong? Um, so that can go either way, you know, and you've got to find the middle ground of getting them to go to bed without screaming and making, you know, and then also not taking two hours to get them to go to bed. There's some middle ground there that you got to figure out. Um, but if you just yell at them, it's not going to work out. Um, if you just, yeah, if you just yell at the kid, it, it's, and sometimes you do because you've had a long day or you're busy or something and you have to yell. And when you do that, you see the results are bad because then the kid just keeps running around screaming and they know you're up too. So they're like, you're up. I want to be up. And it's because you, a lot of times you didn't give them what they needed to go to bed, you know, and I'm not talking about drugs. I'm talking about, you didn't give them that, that attention or security, uh, to go to bed. Um, and when I was a kid, when I got that security from my mother and reading, I would go to bed, even though I was difficult. But if I had a parent who was just like, shut up and go to bed or get up there now, go back to bed, you know, after the first or second time of getting out of bed, I probably never would have gone to bed and I would have been frustrated and I would have been acting crazy. But because my mother took time to read to me, I went to bed. But it took 30 minutes, you know, it took 30 minutes. You got to be able to invest some kind of time. Um, and we got three kids. So, you know, I mean, one of them is never needed that. He was always like, I'll just go to bed. I don't care. I'm just going to bed. Um, and we would actually have to beg to read to him. Like, hey, let me come on. Let me read you something. Let me hang out with you to go to bed. And um, but Brenna is more like you got to like really take time with her. Um, and sometimes, and usually we have it, but sometimes you, you know, it's crazy. Anyway, John goes, I tried spanking. My daughter would just laugh. Yeah. My daughter would laugh too. If we did that, she'd just be like, what are you doing? I'll read you a bedtime story. The little dolphin that could. One day, the little dolphin that could was swimming in the water when a boat went by. The boat was a mighty boat with a steam engine. The little dolphin thought to himself, if only I could break onto that ship and be amongst the people. I could do all the things that I always wanted to do with people, the dolphin thought. And finally the dolphin swam close enough to the boat, to where he could almost smell the people on the boat. The dolphin was smelling, and he knew that he could try to drill inside the boat and be amongst the people. Granted, the boat would sink eventually from the hole the dolphin drilled, but he would at least get to experience final moments of the humans' lives 
and he would get a whole new experience that he never ever had before. So the little dolphin began swimming with the boat, but then the boat suddenly steamed ahead much faster than the dolphin. The prop almost cut the dolphin in half. He swam away and barely lived to tell the tale of the time he swam next to this gigantic boat. Five years later, another boat came by the dolphin. The dolphin could smell the people on the boat. He thought, if only I could be with the people and do all the things that I've always wanted to do with humans. The dolphin just wanted to do things with humans. And as the boat moved by, the dolphin said, that's it, this is my chance, I'm going for it, the dolphin said. And the dolphin swam as fast as he could, piercing through the water like a missile, until he finally came upon the hull of the boat, and he drilled into the hull of the boat. Water and pressure came pushing against the dolphin, and he fought and flapped his way through the boat, finally, to get onto the boat. As he swam and flopped towards an elevator, he rode the elevator to the second floor where the dolphin came off. And then the dolphin began doing the things he always wanted to do with humans. He was so excited he couldn't believe it. Some of the humans were shocked and terrified. They paused and frozen in motion. The dolphin stared at them. And then the dolphin did all the things he ever wanted to do with humans. Finally, he began raping them and fucking them and raping them and cutting them into fucking pieces and raping the shit out of them. And that was the story of how dreams came true for a little dolphin. His believability that he could do this. His belief in himself. The boat would sink, killing most of the people on the ship. The dolphin swam away happy with a gigantic erection, having sodomized and raped several human beings what an amazing story the end anyway guys <laughs> i hope you guys have a good night i hope you guys come over to out of nowhere i'm going to be live on joe cronin show in two hours or less an hour and 40 minutes now um with out of nowhere tons of wrestling talk tons of weird stuff to talk about tonight you may not get an alert because i went live by accident a few minutes ago over there because i'm an idiot so you won't get an alert. So you got to come to my channel, search my channel, go into the channel. Or if you're a patron, you're going to get an email alert. So I hope you see that. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Riddling either, man. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys come over. If you guys like the shows, hope you drop us uh, some super chats, donations, whatever. We'll also have the phone lines open. And uh, shout out to all the patrons. I hope you guys check out my Patreon. 30 hours of content, weird rants, and podcasts that you don't get on YouTube. Okay, it's 30 hours of bonus shit. And um, special shout out to the $25 producers and patrons. I shouted you guys out in the podcast earlier that is up right now on Patreon. And uh, I'm going to go uh, make some uh, dinner, I think, and probably say goodnight to my kids. And I'm actually going to read a real story, not a creepy one like I just said to you guys. Clam Bake, what up, Clam Bake? Thank you, guys. Thank you all. And I'll see you in a little while live. And otherwise, right now, if you didn't listen to it, right now on Patreon, 30 minutes of me talking some shit on a Note to Self episode. is up on Patreon in the $5 tier. You should see it. If you have any problems, please message me on Patreon. Email me, joecronenshow at yahoo.com or at JCS Commentary on Twitter. I got an Instagram. I got a Facebook. Just follow me everywhere. I do all that shit. You know the deal, guys. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm watching the Bruins. I got the Bruins game on right over here. It's on mute. I got the Bruins game on, and uh, I, I have it on the screen. But I am going to say goodnight to the kids. I think Leah can take care of the rest. But I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. And uh, then I'm going to continue watching the Bruins game. All right. I'll see you guys tonight. In a few minutes. Uh... Oh, yeah. Shout out to Robo Noah for the $10. Oh, I can't get this off. I can't get this off. Now I turned on the other camera. MTV hates white people. <laughs>